With the new year comes new beginnings. Many of us are probably thinking resolutions, but for the 135 members of the Arkansas General Assembly, they're thinking of a new session. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Roly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Woodard. It was a busy day at the Arkansas Capitol with plenty already set to be talked about. THV 11's Ian Russell spent the day speaking with new legislators and has more. Ian. Hey, Faith Roll, yeah, well, they, today definitely was a, a busy way. I think it's probably the best way to put it. It was really one filled with a lot of procedural things, right? I mean, we're talking swearing ins, assigning bills to committees, kind of things of that nature. But for those new lawmakers who were here for the first time, they tell me, obviously, yeah, of course, they're excited to be here, but they're ready to get to work. To be officially convened. Out with the old. I think today is it's something new. You, you've got freshness. And in with the new. The 94th General Assembly of Arkansas was officially sworn in Monday. Member by member with 26 new and 74 returning, the House of Representatives was sworn in. Upon which I'm about to enter. And while they may be new, there's already a lot of work to be done. They say it's like drinking water out of a fire hose. I always say it's like going and sticking your mouth right on the fire hydrant and turning it on. Representative RJ Hawk is one of the new lawmakers. From prison reform to education changes, taxes to teacher pay, the session is set to be busy. Now you're getting into the, the, the bullets flying right now. And so I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great time. I think we can do a lot of good things for our state. Of course, the House isn't alone. 13 new senators took the oath of office Monday, including Senator Reginald Murdoch. I'm anxious, but I'm carefully just watching as we go. Murdoch will tell you the same. There is a lot to look forward to this session. Top of his mind, though, is education reform and specifically teacher pay. We need to really show them appreciation and we have the dollars to do it. They just need to become our priority. There is one big thing members are waiting on, though. Governor-elect Sarah Huckabee Sanders inauguration. That once those specifics are rolled out, whether it's on her pieces of legislation or on other pieces of legislation from individual members, when that occurs, I know we're going to work very diligently. And that's what these new members will tell you they're here to do. While it may just be day one, there's work to be done. That means collaborating, hearing, being a part of, and we all proceed together. So. I think collaboration is very, very important. When you're on the campaign trail, you, it's Democrat versus Republican. When you get between these, these walls, we all come together as our candidates. Now the House and Senate are back tomorrow morning, and believe it or not, the Capitol is actually going to be even busier than it was today, and that, of course, is because Sarah Huckabee Sanders is set to be inaugurated as the next governor of Arkansas on the Capitol steps at noon. We're live in Little Rock tonight. Ian Russell, THV 11 News.